The dissemination and exploitation of results, shortly called DEOR, is a crucial part of the project design and the application. Dissemination is a planned process of providing information on the results of the project. Exploitation is a planned process of transferring successful results and convincing others to implement these results in their practices and policies. So DEOR is about making the impact of your project visible and communicating the outcomes and successes to others so they could use them. Making others aware of the project will make an impact on other organizations in the future and will contribute to raising the profile of the organizations implementing the project. To increase the impact and sustainability of your project, it is important that your outcomes are shared broadly and freely and they are easily accessible. To effectively disseminate the results, an appropriate process must be designed at the beginning of the project. It should cover why, what, how, when, to whom the results are targeted both during and after the funding period. Partners should make a plan together and agree on realistic targets and deadlines for progress monitoring. Align dissemination and exploitation activities with the key stages of the project. Offer sufficient flexibility to respond to the needs of the target group, as well as wider development in policy and practice. For good dissemination, you need good visual materials and good texts from the beginning to the end. Visual material is very useful to reveal the atmosphere and value of the project. Make sure you make pictures and videos from all parts of the project, even before applying. The same goes for texts. Collect quotes of participants and partners throughout the project. A list of interesting quotes may be useful and spice up your texts later. Dissemination is quite challenging for organizations, as youth workers tend to focus more on the implementation of the project than on the sharing of results. Therefore, you should also consider dissemination as an essential part of implementation rather than an appendix to your project. Good dissemination allows your project to be successful and known to a wide range of stakeholders in your region, your country, or in Europe. A solid dissemination strategy includes all measurements for targeted field, organizations and individuals, meaning how many people, organizations and institutions you're targeting, directly and indirectly. Possible target groups could be young people in your local community, your country or even Europe. It could also be your colleagues and other youth workers from youth centers, clubs and other kinds of organizations working with youth. If your project reaches out to other fields, your target groups may be people working in organizations from the field of formal education health, sports or social care. If you also want to influence decision makers, you may need to direct your dissemination actions towards regional or national governmental structures. It is good to know the exact number of people and organizations your project wants to reach. Be ambitious, but realistic. What is the best way to reach all these different targets and which channels are the most appropriate? In a complex project, like a strategic partnership, many channels can be used. The easiest way is to use the existing contacts and networks of all partners. You can share your project outcomes on the website of the project, websites of the partner organizations, and the platform of Erasmus Plus project results. Social media and mass media, such as newspapers, radio, TV, YouTube, Flickr, videos, podcasts or apps are easy to use dissemination channels with large numbers of direct and indirect targets. More specific dissemination channels are information and discussion platforms such as workshops, seminars, exhibitions, demonstrations and public events. Dissemination material supports the visibility of the project, while logos and visual materials strengthen the branding of the project. Partners could make reports, articles, newsletters, press releases, leaflets or brochures. Not all target groups can be reached by the same channel. Be creative and innovative in your dissemination strategy to ensure a more complete and interesting dissemination of the results. Nowadays, social media and the digital world can play a huge role in your dissemination plan. But it is not enough to just mention the project on a website or make a Facebook page. Maybe there is an annual educational conference for teachers where you could do a workshop. Maybe your city hosts an intercultural festival where you could have a stand. 
or maybe you can have a presentation in a local council meeting. Of course, it all depends on your topic and your outcomes. Maybe one of the partners has good expertise in marketing. If not, you may consider spending a bit of money to have marketing specialists involved in designing your dissemination plan. Or maybe your dissemination activities could be an interesting practice for someone who is studying event management or marketing. Only in strategic partnership projects aimed at supporting innovation multiply event is an added possibility to disseminate your intellectual outputs. These can be national and transnational conferences, seminars, or events to share and disseminate your results to a wider audience. It is interesting to map out all potentially interested targets. Usually, there are much more of them than you think. Use your networks to invite people from the target groups mentioned earlier. Don't forget to invite your national Erasmus Plus agencies and the media, local or regional newspapers, radio, television, young bloggers, etc. Partnership projects will be assessed on two main elements of the quality of their dissemination plan. First, whether measures aimed at sharing the results of the project within and outside partners are appropriate. And second, how the products and media produced outputs will be made freely available without too many limitations. For many organizations, dissemination is the hardest part to design and explain. Some applications do not reach the minimum requirements and therefore are rejected. Another reason to invest time and energy in making a good strategy for the dissemination and exploitation of the results is to have a better chance for your project to get approved and for others to enjoy the results together with you. You can find an extensive chapter on DEOR in Annex 2 to the Program Guide. This can support you in developing your dissemination strategy.